Hi, welcome to Lightspeed English and the Diaries of Gordon, or Gordon's Diaries, better said. Um, I hope you're all okay. Now, today I'm going to talk about the system that Cynthia and I have and have had for the last 11 years. The system we use to learn English and to learn Spanish. Okay, what we did was this. When we first got together, we wanted to practice our, I wanted to practice my Spanish, Cynthia wanted to practice her English. And so what we did was we started just to randomly talk. Um, and so what we found was that I would say the easy things in English, in, in Spanish I should say, I would say the easy things in Spanish when I was trying to say something difficult, I would change to English. And I would say to Cynthia, Cynthia, I, I'll have to say this in English because it's too difficult in Spanish. And Cynthia would do the same. So what happened was we were never expanding our ability. We were always doing the easy in the other language and the more difficult in our language. So. What we decided to do was this. We decided to, to talk for one hour in one language and then change and one hour in the other language. One hour in Spanish, one hour in English. And that was a big challenge because we weren't allowed to speak our own language. We had to use, we had to use the, the language we were in. After one hour, our heads were really hurting. It was difficult. But after doing that for some days, it became easy. And so what we did was we changed from one hour to half a day. Half a day in English, half a day in Spanish. And that was great. It was very difficult at the beginning, but as time went on, it became easier. And so very soon we changed from half a day to one day. One day Spanish, one day English, one day Spanish. But even then that became easy and after one day I was kind of, I was just becoming accustomed to speaking in Spanish and then I'd have to change to English. So we decided to do this, speak for one week in English and one week in Spanish. And that was about ten and a half years ago. And from then, we have done that system. We have followed that system for ten and a half years. One week in Spanish, one week in English. And we've never ever missed a week in truth. Sometimes, for whatever, we've maybe done two weeks in one language, but we've always mixed it. This week is English week. So Cynthia and I are talking in English. Okay, so that's our system and it has been invaluable. It is the best system that I know of because you need to have rigidity, you need to have order for you to learn. So now that Sebastian is here, he's three, Sebastian our son, we want him to be bilingual, we want him to have a native accent in both languages, which has happened. What we do is this. Our system is I only speak to him in English, only. And Cynthia only speaks to him in Spanish. However, between us, we still speak in English and Spanish depending on the week. But Sebastian only hears English from me and only hears Spanish from his mum when we are talking to him. He knows we speak both languages, but direct communication, it's always one language. So what's really interesting is that now when Sebastian talks to me, he only talks in English. And when he talks to his mum, he only talks to her in Spanish. And he can even be sitting in between us and turning to me, talking in English and turning to his mum and saying the same thing but in Spanish. And it's a curious thing to, to watch, but that's how 
that's how he's learning. He doesn't have the perception of English and Spanish. He doesn't know that he's speaking English and Spanish. He only knows that he's saying the words that his daddy says and he's saying the words that his mummy says. Okay. What's even more interesting is that he can identify whether somebody is English or Spanish. And if he knows that they are English, he will speak English to them. So I have some English students who come here to learn Spanish to our house. When they come in, he knows that they're English. He can hear them speaking English. They talk to him in Spanish to practice their Spanish and he answers in English because they're English. And that's the way he talks to English people. So it's a, it's a really interesting um, situation that he's in. And I'm envious of him because I wish I had that opportunity, but I haven't. But he has, and that's the beauty of it. So that's, how, that's our system, that's the system we use. If you are in a partnership with another person from another country or an English speaker, get a system in place. Don't just let it to be random, okay? Randomness doesn't teach anything. Get a system, make it work for you, and your English will move at light speed. Okay, I hope that helps. See you later.